good. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about dual degrees. Ye uh, bahut importance sa hai. Like a lot of people, even including me, when I was applying, I never knew about dual degrees. Uh, so let's get into it. It it might help you guys, especially if your BITSAT ka score agar utna acha nahi aaya hai, to uh, it could help you a lot. Uh, let's see what dual degrees are and how they can help you. Dual degree is something that is offered at a lot of IITs and BITs. Uh, this is uh, a very flexible program where you can do MSc Science, that is Master of Science and Bachelors of Engineering in just 5 years. If you have done both of them, then it takes 6 years. But since these are clubbed together, you can complete 5 years. Mein complete kar sakte ho. So at the end of 5 years, you'll be having 2 degrees and not just 1. Now, in the Goa campus, these are the options that you have for Master of Science. You can either take uh, Masters of Economics, Masters of Chemistry, Masters of Physics, Master of Maths, uh, Master in Biological Science. You can choose any one of them. And after your first year, based on your academic performance, you can choose any one of the single degrees. Single degree mein aata hai, uh, computer science, electronics and instrumentation, electronics and electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering. So you can choose any one of these degrees after your first year based on your academic performance. Just say her cutoff rega, uske sab se quick choose karna rega. Now at the end of five years you can have you'll be having one of these master's degrees and one of these single degrees. And that pretty much sums it up. Okay, so I'll simple terms. Uh, first year, it's the same for everyone. So everyone has the same syllabus, everyone goes to the same classes and uh, gives the same exams. After your first year, uh, for dual degree students, your academic performance would be analyzed and based on that, you can choose one of the branches, right? So there's something called CGPA. So CGPA is a way of measuring your academic performance out of a scale of 10. So if people have CGPA, it could be anywhere between 0 to 10. Aapka jo academic performance hai, uske se milta hai, CGPA. Now, different streams have different cutoffs after my first year. Like computer science might have a cutoff of 7.9, uh, electrical engineering might have a cutoff of 7.2, mechanical might have a cutoff of uh, say 6.5. Now, uh, based on my CGPA after my first year, I can choose any one of these branches. Like if I'm an MSc economics student and my CGPA is 8 and the cutoff for computer science is 7.9, then I can choose computer science. And if the cutoff for electrical engineering is 7.2, then I can even choose electrical engineering because my uh, grade is higher than uh, Joby Uska cutoff. So, uh, based on that, I can choose one of these single degrees and club it with my uh, dual degree. So, abhi right now, if my CGP is 8, I will choose computer science because it's cutoff for 7.9, and my total degree would become MSc Economics plus computer science. Alright, now, now for dual degree students, this is how your 5 years would look like. In your first year, you'll have common courses with everyone. In your second year, uh, you'll have your dual degree. So if I'm an MSc Economics, I'll be doing my MSc Economics courses in my second year. In my third year, I'll be doing MSc Economics courses and Computer Science courses because that's my single degree. In my fourth year, I would be doing just Computer Science courses. And my fifth year, I would be doing a practice school, which is essentially an internship somewhere else. Uh, this is... This pretty much sums up uh, dual degree. So if you don't have a good bits at score or if you have really good interest in one of these fields, MS Economics or Biological Science or Chemistry or Physics, then you can do an MSc degree with uh, an engineering degree. Right, so as I've said more than three times, the cutoffs for uh, the dual degrees are way lesser than for single degrees. So this was the cutoff last year ka, uh, for MSc Biological Science, it was 252 for MSc Chemistry, it was 255 for MSc Economics, it was 292 for MSc Mathematics, it was 277 for MSc Physics, it was 275. Uh, these have fairly low cutoffs and it's worth taking these degrees. It's the gateway to get into Bits Pilani and I would re highly recommend dual degrees to you guys. So if you don't get a single degree, mil rahe, then you can obviously go for dual degrees. And if you don't get a single degree, mil rahe, then you can obviously go for dual degrees. Um, that's my take on it. The, one of the best combinations is MSc Economics plus Computer Science. The placement for these is really great. So if you get that chance, then well and good. Else, uh, anything works. And some of you were asking, will it affect your placements? No, it wouldn't affect your placements. A normal computer science student and someone with an MSc degree plus computer science will get the same placement uh, whatsoever. So it really doesn't matter. In fact, this guy might have a slight advantage because he has a economics ka bhi thoda knowledge hai in addition to computer science ka knowledge. So maybe it could help you in your placements. You never know. So uh, placements, there's no difference in placements if you take a dual degree. 
Now some of you might ask what's the disadvantage of doing it. Uh, the first disadvantage would be uh, you'll have a slight burden on your in your first year because बहुत पढ़ाई का tension रहेगा आपको अच्छा CG लाना रहे लाने का pressure रहेगा so that you get a better branch in your second year so you might have a little bit of extra burden और दूसरी चीज़ ये है कि you'll be doing it for five years बाकी single degree वाले four years में करके चले जाते हैं but also you you're doing two degrees in five years so one extra year will remain in your life, you'll have to study for an extra year. Apart from that, I don't see any disadvantages. So I hope you guys got some insights. Just spread the video, a lot of people don't know about this. So at least some people might offer dual degrees and get a better branch in the second year. Yo, so I got an internship at a German consulting firm in Hyderabad. I can't travel there because Corona uh, but I'll keep I'll keep you guys updated with how the internship is going. By the way, uh, join the free mentorship group. It's we like to mentor people for free. Join the free mentorship group. It's run by a couple of Bitspilani students and it's fun. So please join in. A uh, link for the mentorship group is there in the description. It's 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 on WhatsApp. So it's a WhatsApp group with a couple of good students. You can collaborate with them. You can solve doubts. You can ask us questions, and we'll be more than happy to help you. There are more than 25 mentors from Bitspilani, including some alumni also. So it's it's quite a good platform, guys. Join us.